I want to invite you into the home studio of Isaac Mather, a local name that you need to remember. Don't tick me off. I have Tourette's. So, began actually when I was nine. So, <clears throat> I was living out in California at the time, and my friend had a little studio in his bedroom, uh, and we would make you know, music videos, put a blanket up on the closet, you know, put disco lights around and we'd make little music videos. We'd burn some songs on some CDs. <laughs> um, and then I ended up moving back here to Virginia mm -hmm. and I started uh, rapping and producing when I was 13. Wow. So yeah, and now I'm 20. So that's been, you know, a little over a decade. Um, Lots happened since then. Eighth grade was a huge year for you. <laughs> Tell me why. Yes, it was. So I was homeschooled my whole life except for eighth grade. I went into eighth grade um, at a private Christian school <laughs> um, and I was diagnosed with Tourette's. Uh, when I went into school and you know eighth grade is already difficult as it is <laughs> but then being diagnosed with a disability <laughs> makes it all the more harder you know people out in public looking and staring laughing saying rude things mm -hmm. um, and that's where my song bury myself came out of years later um, so yeah <clears throat> and walk me through that you were in a restaurant with your mom yes so <clears throat> the music video depicts a real life scenario that mm -hmm. happened I was in a restaurant <laughs> Um, with my mom actually and I was in a booth <coughs> ticking and it was bumping the booth I guess and there was a guy right behind me in the next booth mm -hmm. and he got up with his friend because he was annoyed he got up with his friend he <laughs> moved to the other side of the room <laughs> came back and got some more silverware or whatever then he looked at me and then he's like now you can bump all you want kid wow. and I just sat there with my mom and I was like shocked I didn't have any words to say she didn't have any words to say and he just walked back over um, and it was like, wow, like how do people, how do people have the courage to be that rude, mm -hmm. you know, especially with somebody with a disability. But, mm -hmm. you know, as we talked about, you know, I may not look like I have a disability, but I do. And that's a crazy thing. You know, a lot of people have hidden disabilities <clears throat> or, you know, out, outside, you can see it on the outside. <laughs> And that's taken a lot of courage to actually not for not try to hide that part of yourself, but you've actually leaned into it. What mm -hmm. impact have you seen? So beginning of 2021, I started making beats out of my ticks. <laughs> and people would always tell me, <clears throat> you need to make some beats out of your ticks. And I'd be like, that's stupid. Why would I do that? And I finally did. I posted it. And um, Lecrae reposted it on his Instagram, wow. then Andy Minio did, and that just blew up from there. Mm -hmm. I started doing TikTok, got a lot of traction on TikTok from that. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really where I then uh, made the song Bury Myself mm -hmm. was after that. You've got a lot of creative content on there just from <laughs> yes. jokes to, I mean, Super Mario, things yep, that people exactly. know, but you've really given them your own little, your own little twist. <laughs> yep. So speaking of your personal style, you know, how have you been able to take some really sobering things that people have said to you, but made them positive? Now that I'm older, I feel like I'm just more aware of my surroundings and what people are, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get in my head and be like, all right, what are you thinking about me? You know, like, mm -hmm. I, didn't, I don't, I hope you're not thinking anything bad, <laughs> you know, and that's not a good place to be, but it, it's just the truth that happens. You know yeah. what I mean? Like some days are better than others and some days are more of a struggle. I recently, um, uh, got into a Facebook group, Tourette's Facebook group, and um, have been posting tons of stuff, nice. uh, lots of, you know, um, bury myself, music that's coming out. And then I, I came up with a slogan <laughs> for a merch line called Don't Tick Me Off, I Have Tourette's. Oh. And I have been getting a lot of people that have been buying them. Awesome. Yep. And you've got some amazing songs coming up and <laughs> we can see them performed where? So I am going to be performing February 25th, next Friday at Conv Convocation, mm -hmm. Liberty University. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really cool. I'm going to be performing two songs, Bury Myself and Deja Vu, my new single. So <gasps> Very exciting. You're yeah. going to be joined on stage by a really <laughs> special friend. Yes. Yeah. He uh, His name is Chris Simning. Um, I met him at um, a place called Hume Lake, a Christian camp we used to live at in California. Mm -hmm. And he came up there and spoke. So it's going to be really cool how <clears throat> our stories 
um, connect because he had a disability that changed his life in the mm -hmm. eighth grade. Mm -hmm. And so did I. I was diagnosed with Tourette's in the eighth grade. <laughs> so it's just going to be really cool. I'm yeah. excited. <clears throat> oh, we are too. I cannot wait to see you guys up there. And, you know, to wrap this up a little bit, your life and Chris, Chris has changed so much in eighth grade. <laughs> so kind of coming from that, how have you been able to kind of build your brand and kind of like re reinvent yourself? What I do is I write from a very real and um, open and raw space. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that's, you know, uh, my inspiration. I like I like Post Malone. I like NF. Those are guys I look up to. Um, and I found this lane that I that I like, you know, um, sing, singy rap type of stuff and <clears throat> just being open and real. Cause that, that's where I feel like I can communicate best. My feelings, right. Is, is music and, um, opening up in that. And, you know, I'll listen to it back and it'll be like, it, it's weird. It'll be like therapy for me mm. because it is therapy for me, but it's like, I'll hear it, listen to it back. And I'll be like, I finally got that out. Far away, far away. Today, not today.